Welcome back everybody to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming and I am just waiting for what I hope is the final blizzard of the winter to finish blowing over so I can go do stuff. Uh, so yeah, it is late February. Uh, I don't remember if the water had thawed in the last episode or not, but it has now thawed as you can see. And we just recently had <clears throat> our attack cycle finish. Um, so, you know, I want, I'm really wanting to take this advantage to go out and go do some more looting. But, I mean, as you can see, the weather's not conducive to that quite yet. Um, if we went out right now, we would probably end up having to use heat packs and stuff. And I'd just like it to be a little better. Um, these are generating 0.13 a pop, which is pretty cool. Um, so at least we're getting, you know, a nice little boost of power from from the storm. But yeah, it's kind of preventing us from going out. So anyway, let's see. We got the, the crops rotated here. Uh, and I I went ahead. No, actually, we've had a whole an, a whole nother um, harvest, I think, since the last episode. I, actually, I don't remember. I think so. Yeah, I think we did. Uh, I haven't harvested these tomatoes because I already have, you know, two stacks in here. So I'm just leaving those in the crop plot for now because they won't spoil. Uh, one thing we are going to do, though, is let's go ahead and cook up a couple more chickens here uh, and get that going. Each one of those, uh, oops, uh, uses 200 power, so I don't want to, I'm not cooking them all at the same time because I it would run all my power out, but we're slowly, you know, getting the the high-end stuff cooked. And then I'm just been I've just been eating that because it's getting our health cap up. So we're already up to 115 health cap. We have 10 more points uh, to go, and then we will be at max health cap, which will be great. And then once that happens, I'm not going to continue eating uh, the the really high end stuff all of the time. We'll start eating some other things like the tomato soup. We'll make some uh, steak and eggs. We have lots of eggs there, and you know some of the I guess you'd call it the the, the mid grade food. Um, just you know as a a day-to-day -day thing and go from there so uh, and then if we you know if we die then we can quickly boost back up again by eating the the, the high-end food so that's why I want to kind of hang on to that once we get to the level cap because I think we lose something like six of our cap when we die it doesn't take all of it away but it takes like I, I think six is six is the number or something like that all right well anyway uh, there's not really a whole lot else to show you at this point um, I would, I would do some building, but I'm still really low on nails, and that's why I want to get out there more than any for any other reason, is to get our nails built up so that we can continue working on the base. Right now, we are sitting at 220, so that's not bad. But I'd like, you know, as you guys know, if you've been watching me all along, I like to get that to at least 200 or, or to 300 before we start building, so that way we can do a fairly substantial amount of building and still have enough nails left over for repairing and whatnot. Um, see, we have a full stack of wood and then 80 more of these. I'll probably just turn into, well, you know what? We could turn those into sticks and get this boosted up because the next thing I want to do in terms of equipment and whatnot is I want to upgrade the bow. I want to fast track getting the bow upgraded to level three. And, uh, so let's see, what do we need to do that? So, yeah, so we need 1300 power. And I'm going to need to make four metal ingots, or we're going to have to go raid our, our neighbors. We haven't raided the neighbors in a while, so we'll probably be doing that pretty soon. You can sometimes find ingots in lock chests, but they're kind of rare. Uh, but I do have two lock picks there, too. So anyway, this is what I want to start working towards. And, you know, rather than relying upon the neighbors to give us those ingots, maybe we should just make them ourselves. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's just take what we currently have for iron and that. And we needed four. Two, three, four. Okay, so we'll get those four ingots made up. And, of course, that's really going to... Well, it's not super bad taking our power down. Um, yeah, okay. And then we'll put this stuff back here. Uh, right now we're just kind of topping off our, our zinc. And uh, we still have more zinc here. I've got two full stacks of copper and then some. In fact, those we could probably put back in here now. And so, yeah, not doing too bad, but I want to get this bow upgraded. And I also want to start using uh, premium arrows. We have over a full stack of premium feathers. I've got a bunch of crystal here. 
And uh, so I think we should start making and using those. But, uh, you know, if we do that along with upgrading the bow, then they're just going to be even that much more potent. Uh, so I think I'd like to wait until the bow's upgraded at least to the next level before we start also using the premium arrows. All right, let's pull that out of there and stick it down in here. And then uh, this one is at 61%. Is the weather starting to mellow? It is mellowing a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do then is let's wait for this chicken to finish. And we might actually just grab it and take it with us and eat it on the road. And I think... Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's turn these all into sticks, and then I will use those to boost the... Uh, put them in the mass recycler to boost our mast. Boost our mass. I don't, did a little bit of a Lixdexia thing there. <laughs> okay. So let's pop that in there. Yeah, we'll let those build up. Uh, we're kind of low on arrows, but maybe we can find some in some loot. Oh, let's see. It's, yeah, it's still February. But that might be the last big blizzard of the winter. I hope that it is. Because usually the way that it works is, you know, the ice melts on the lake, and then you get one more big blow, and that was just it. Because, I mean, that was actually had actually been going on for quite some time before I even started the camera for you guys uh, overnight and whatnot. So let's hope that's the last of it, man, and then we can get into the springtime. Okay, so let's see. We are waiting on this. Okay, this is done. Let's just take that with us. Like I said, we'll eat. Can we eat it now? Oh, we can. Nice. Okay, that gets us up to 116. Uh, we only have nine more of the big meals to go, and then we'll have our health cap maxed out. And then, you know, the stamina will, will follow shortly thereafter. Um, but I will, you know, I will finish making all of these, so that way they're there and ready for us to use when we need to. Okay, so I think we're ready to go out. We are going to take our coat with us just in case and our heat packs. Uh, we do have the two lock picks. I'm not expecting to be attacked today. Uh, it could happen, but I don't think it will. And if it does, it should only be one group of hunters anyway, so they shouldn't do, you know, a major amount of damage. Let's just take a look out here and see if everything looks clear. And, oh, yeah, let's turn these off too. Save power. And, yep, I don't see anybody swimming across the lake, so hopefully we can have a full day's worth of looty. Well, it'll be a half day now because it's about noon. Half day's worth of looting without the hunters coming and screwing up our base. Let's double check a couple things before we leave. We want to make sure this is completely topped off. And uh, let's also grab a couple of these and top off our fire. So it can keep generating that um, ash for us. Don't think there's any fat in there. Uh, I'm going to drink that. Our chickens should be in good shape. Um, actually, here, let's just give them a little more water. We'll grab that egg because it'll spoil. You know, I, it, it does kind of make sense that eggs would spoil in the hen, in the hen house, but I, I think it's way too fast. In fact, everybody that I've talked to thinks that the spoilage of the vegetables is just way too fast. And it is. I mean, vegetables do not spoil that fast in real life. Um, for that matter, neither does meat. But, you know, I just I think he needs to tone that down a little bit. And everybody else that I've talked to, I think, thinks the same thing. But we'll see what happens. Cold Game does as Cold Game wants to do. So Cold Games wants to do. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if he does anything about that or not. Okay. I think we're ready to go, you guys. So let's see. We topped off our fires. We topped off our fuel... Uh, we have 127 coming in, 84 going out. You're going to stop as soon as you get 200 zinc, so you'll be good to go there. Uh, you guys, oh, you know what? We should probably feed and water our plants before we take off. So let's grab this out of here. And I've got some fertilizer in here, too. We'll grab that and get some waters. We don't need to do anything with the tomatoes, uh, so let's do a water, and I'm just going to put all of that in there. We'll split this one up. It's not completely even distribution, but I don't care. I don't, I don't feel like doing math right now. Okay, so we're pretty full there on water. We're pretty full there on water. We're f yeah, let's hit it one more time. What the heck? Let's just do it one more time. Fill 
those guys up. Now, as soon as winter is truly over, I'm going to move the crop plots back out onto the patio. And we're going to, you know, at some point build a greenhouse uh, for them too. So that is on the to-do list of all the things we want to do here. Um, let's take these these sticks and we'll just put them there. We'll have a few left over with us, but we need to get rolling because daylight is a-wasting. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So we have the two lock picks, but you know, of course we will open any lock crates we come across. Of course. <laughs> but what we really what we're really after is nails. Uh, we're not gonna hunt unless we have to. Uh, we are just gonna try and loot. We're not gonna cut wood. Um, we're gonna loot. And loot looking for nails in particular. So let's do this. The snow should probably start to melt here fairly soon. Uh, tomorrow, in game day tomorrow, I think might be the first day of March, but we'll see. We shall see. There's a wolf down there. We're, like I said, we're not going to hunt right now unless we need to get an animal out of our way. I have a full stack of... Yeah, we don't need a chicken. I have a full stack of the rosehip berries, so the extra ones I've just been given to the chickens. Okay, that's yeah, turning out to be a nice afternoon, that's for sure. Got another chicken down there, but crates, we are looking for crates, baby. That is what we need, is crates. We'll go over to our our hot spot over by the... Uh, oh, nice, a potato plant. Those are pretty rare. Uh, what was I saying? Over by the arches, yeah. We'll go over to the arches. I have such good luck finding lock crates over here. It doesn't happen all the time, mind you, but I'd say, I don't know, about 80% of the time I come over here, I find one another. There's been a few times that there's even been two lock crates in this vicinity. And guess what? Both of the times that that's happened, I didn't have any lock picks with me. <laughs> go figure, right? Oh, well. It's all good, man. It's the way it works sometimes. Um, here. Oh, what's that? That is one of those. We'll grab that. Grab that. There's a crate over here and some scrap. Oh, uh, I don't know where that's coming. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Is he chasing us? Oh, he's not chasing us. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's not waste any ammo. Let's just pull him over here and we'll circle back around. We don't need we don't need to be killing any wolves right now. We'll come around this part of the arch. And see what's on this side. I I I saw a uh, a scrap and a chest. I don't think it was a lock chest. Before that wolf imposed his self himself rather upon us or herself. Could be a she wolf. I don't know. I'm not gonna check. Put it that way. Oh man, wolves all over the place. Okay, let's thread the needle through here. We are being chased. Okay, let's grab that. And I th thought I saw a chest over here, but apparently I did not. It's probably one of those dang ferns that make themselves look like chests. Let's run back around this way. Lose Mr. Wolf. And we'll kind of cut down through... This next little section, I'd like to run over to the valley, too. Uh, actually, let's do that right now, and then we can cut through the, over by the south pond on the way back. Let's just do it right now. I don't have a lot of... Uh, I don't often get this far over here because... It's been a long time since I've had a full day to loot. I mean, you usually only have about an afternoon to loot. So, you know, I just don't have a chance to get that far away from the base. But yeah, stuff is starting. The snow is starting to melt. This is awesome, man. Fantastic. Oh, see, I thought that was a crate, but it's one of them stupid ferns. The nice thing about right now is, you know, because we don't have the tall grass that we're going to have like in the summertime... So we can see uh, a lot longer. 
Man, the wolves are just out in force today, aren't they? Let's go this way. Unfortunately, even though we can see a lot further, it doesn't seem like there's many crates spawning for us today. Maybe we'll start seeing some a little bit later in the afternoon. That's not unusual. Um, there's often like a, a batch in the morning and then a batch in the afternoon. There's a deer. Actually, are seeing some green on the ground. That's nice. Very nice. Come on, crates. Let's do it. Let's get this done. It's kind of sparse today, isn't it? Here, creek, 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 creek. This is usually a pretty productive place for locked crates in through the forest area here. But, I mean, I'm not seeing any kind of crates. <laughs> Alright, here's some ore. Looks like that's potassium, but we need that for fertilizer. So let's grab that. Maybe the return trip will uh, yield a bunch of crates for us. We could... Uh, where's the sun? Eh, it's early afternoon. We could probably run up to Ortastic and then start circling back. Yeah, why don't we do that? See if we can get, get ourselves some iron in particular. I mean, we'll take all of it, but iron is what we really need, as usual. We've got an abundance of copper. we got an abundance of zinc. Potassium I'm using as fast as I can process it for fertilizer. Okay, we got a nail crate, or a building crate, I should say, with no nails in it. Yay! Okay, that's off to a good start. I'm just teasing. I'll take whatever the game wants to give us. Okay, so yeah, let's run up here to Ortastic. I've really been tempted to have a base over here. It's just that water would be such a pain in the butt to have to haul in. There's some iron. Come on, Ortastic, you're not being very tastic. You shut up. I didn't ask you. Wow, only one iron node on the whole doggone Ortastic. That sucks. All right, well, let's head this way a little bit, and then we'll start cutting back. And I already see an ammo crate, so that's good. Maybe, like I said, we'll we'll hit the the string of crates on the way back. Let's hope so. Okay, gunpowder and casings. I've got a, lots of casings, but not a lot of gunpowder. That's good, though, because casings are more expensive to make than gunpowder. Grab this sink here. All right, come on, crates. Where are you all at? Just not seeing a whole lot. Um, okay, there. Yeah, there's a crate. Uh, we got a level one wolf. You know, we're fairly near the central pond. Let's just kill this guy, and then we can wash our hands. Once we get this bow upgraded and use the premium arrows, we should be able to one-shot level one wolves and two-shot level twos and threes. Okay, this is a medicinal. With an apple in it, okay. Been just throwing those in the animal pen too. Since they're not used in any recipes in this game. Maybe they will be in the future. Be cool if we could plant our own apple tree, huh? You could call me old guy apple seed. Okay, so we're coming up on the pond here. Don't see any rogues. In fact, I don't even know where the rogues are. I didn't check. As I often forget to do. But, you know, whatever. Most of the time when I run into the rogues, I don't have too much trouble killing them unless there's like five of them, which sometimes there is. It's like, then that's like, oh, crap, that's a lot of enemies. 
Well, there, this is making up for Ortastic. I think we have another node off to the left, too. Yeah, right there. Look at that. And it's iron on top of that. Even better. Maybe this is more of an ore day than a loot day. Okay, we'll start heading back here. This will be uh, the last few rosehip berries that we'll be able to grab, but not, not that that matters because I've got a ton of them. Okay, finally got some nails. Let's put those down in the lower right-hand corner so we can quickly check our quantity. And there is a medicinal up here. And another one off to our right. Hopefully this is the start of the, the crate chain. Two apples and another bandage. I'll take it. There's a building crate up here. All right, this is what I'm talking about. We're getting that afternoon spawn coming in. Up to 11 nails. I I think I told you guys this, but one of my loot sessions, off-camera loot sessions, 17, nice, um, that I had, this was back bef last year in-game and before the winter. I got like 111 nails in one session. I couldn't believe it. It was like an all-day session, but that's the most I've ever gotten in this game. Single player, multiplayer, any of it. It was great. Okay, we have two We have two uh, scraps here. Let's dispatch this Jose. Is that your name, Jose? Level 3 wolf with my current setup takes one arrow and four pistol shots to kill. We will be fixing that by upgrading our bow and using better arrows soon. Okay, we got a little bit of fat out of him. Let's grab these two scraps here. And whoop, and we got some more ore. Looks like zinc. Zinc a doodle. And another piece of scrap. Okay. Keep it coming, game. Keep it coming. Uh, did I just see an ore over here? I did not. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go through here. fence okay i thought i was heading in a different direction that's okay this is going to bring us back by the arch and we, we could have had a new some new spawns since we passed by here so this isn't a bad situation at all got a stupid white wolf over there and a crate all right you know what white wolf you are in the way a level one white wolf is equivalent to a level three black wolf. Oh, nice. There's a um, ammo crate there. We'll grab you. And we'll grab you. And this is a building crate, it looks like. Oh, another one. Did that one just spawn in or did I not see it? I don't know. I'll take it, though. Okay, 23 nails. 27 nails. Shut up, Wolf. 29 nails. Still not super good. I like to have at least 40, but on the other hand, you know, we this isn't a full loot day. This is only a half a loot day, so I guess we can't complain too much. Do I have at least two arrows? I have only two arrows. All right. We need to get our mitts washed here pretty soon. 
let's just kind of okay here's another building crate actually you know what let's just oh we can't use yeah we can't use blueberry water to wash our mitts another building crate all right nice let's work our way down towards the water 33 nails if we can get seven more we, we will have met our quota of 40 for the day on a half a day's worth of looting so that's not so bad if it happens <laughs> if it doesn't well it's not like we can do anything about it right all right here is a medicinal and there's a chicken we don't care about the chicken generally only hunt chickens when i need to replenish my animal pen or if it's the early game then we hunt them all the time Okay, hands are washed. Let's run back over here and grab this node. It is getting dark, so we need to start heading back. But, you know, it wasn't a bad day for ore. We are bringing back uh, 13 iron. Well, okay. I guess that's not terrible. It's not super awesome, but it's not terrible. We got a white wolf and a black wolf over there. Let's actually cut up this way because there's another node right here. I'm going to get uh, this guy out so you can see and I can see. Not that we can see very far with this, but it helps a little bit. If you don't have this on at night, you well, sometimes you'll run right by a crate that you never would have seen otherwise. Man, chickens all over the place. Oh, we're getting more snow. Maybe we are are going to get one more blow on the uh, before the end of the winter. Huh, okay. I thought it was over, but I guess not. One more time. Unless this is just a light snow, but I kind of doubt it. We'll see, though. We'll see what it does. timing on it was good we got back to the base before it uh, really starts getting heavy let's wait for a little bit of stamina to come back we'll just walk nice and leisurely across our bridge here we're probably yeah we're we're getting down there, but that's fine. We're going to eat a nice big meal and get up to 117 on our health cap. Okay, let's take and put in uh, you and both of you. And that should get give a nice boost to the food. Uh, nothing else? Okay. We can throw a tomato in there, too. Let's turn the light on. And let's see, we're going to put the fat in there. We're going to cook up the livers. We're probably just going to burn the livers and the steaks for mass. Let's put the eggs in there. We're up to 56 eggs. That's awesome. Uh, potato seed can go in there. That can go in there. That can go in there. Extra zinc uh, goes in there. Okay. Iron can go in here this can go there that 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 all goes in there not you so we're up to 253 nails we're getting close we're getting close you can go in there and you can go in here and let's go out and water you guys up I was going to throw a, a tomato in there, too, wasn't I? Let's do that. That should get them all the way up. Yeah, close enough. 95% <laughs> is pretty close. Okay, now let's chow down on... Um, uh, let's do a roast ribs. Here we go. Ready? Oh, man, that was good. 
That gets us up to 117 now on health and 113 on stamina. It's a beautiful thing. It is an absolutely beautiful thing. Let's grab this. Top you off. How's our stoves doing? Yeah. I'm just going to throw some Prestos in there. They're cheap enough to make. I'd rather save my wood for building and stuff, you know? So, got a couple of jars to fill up. Or canteens, rather. Let's take a quick peek out yonder. Alright. All quiet out there for now. Probably won't stay that way, but right now it is good. Okay, we'll throw you in there. You're still burning. Okay. Um, let's grab that and all of these and this. And you're working on fat. Both of those. Oh, and um, throw those in there too. We will get the crops watered. Are we at? Yeah, okay. So we're going to throw this in there and that in there. So, yeah, let's just give you the manure and two waters. We'll split this up for you guys. I like to kind of favor the potatoes over the other, the carrots and the onions, just because potatoes tend to take a little bit longer to grow otherwise. Very good. Okay, everybody's at full water and as much fertilizer as I have to put in there. Oh, look at that. Building Creek. Ah, six nails. That got us up to 39 for the day. <laughs> we almost made our 40. We almost made it. Okay, put that stuff in there. You can go in there, and you can go in here. And we're still waiting on, uh, waiting on burning that. All right, you guys. Well, I think that's it for this episode. And um, so... That snowstorm didn't seem to amount to much. It's still February. It might it might turn it uh, March tomorrow morning. We'll see. We'll see. But I think I'm going to let you guys go here. Uh, plan for the next... Uh, actually, I think I'm going to go looting off camera. Um, and hopefully get this up to 300 so that in the next episode we can actually build work on the base. Because I want to start working on the base. And again, we're also working on building up to do uh, the upgrade of our bow... Um, do we have, oh, you know what, we could probably do that now, uh, if we just run this for a little bit, or no, we don't need to do that, we got all these sticks, we got all these sticks, man, uh, let's throw half of these in here, that gets us up to 183, yeah, let's just throw them all in there, because anything we build up now, we can just, again, use later. Okay, that gets us to 1,300, and we still have enough. Okay, so we need six weapon parts, 12 pearls, and six rope. Oh, man, six rope? Dang, can I make six rope? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can. Okay, we still have 48 sinew left even after that, so we're actually in better shape on that than I thought we were. We needed pearls, too. Let's just grab the pearls. And, yeah, we just have to wait for the rope. And we got the ingots right here. And then, of course, we'll be shooting for the level 3 upgrade after we're done with this. Oh, yeah, we need six weapon parts, too. So one, two, three, four, five, and six of those. Put the water back up here. Actually, I need to drink some water. Okay, where are we at on the rope? Still making the rope. Throw you in there. So yeah, we're just waiting on the rope there. And um, since we're doing that, let's go ahead and start using premium arrow. So I'm going to take this stack of 51. Um, we're going to need crystal. We're going to need iron fragments. And there was one other thing that we need to, for those two. Oh, scrap. Okay. So 
so uh, let's do the upgrade first and then I'll start making the arrows and then then we'll wrap up this episode this is great man getting this bow upgraded I love the bow it's just because uh, you can you can use the regular arrows with it too you know and it's just cheaper for hunting in particular but it also does a number on the hunters once it's really upgraded uh, okay here we go boom baby level two bow upgrade awesome 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 and we almost have uh, our free mass back too so so right so that's basically going to add 40 percent damage to its base damage because right now each time you do it it adds 20 percent awesome okay so yeah see plus 40 percent right up here that's amazing and then, um, let's see, how many of these can we craft? We can, we got 50, 45. I don't know if I want to use all my iron. Plus we have, uh, we have six in here already. So let's make another 14 and we'll carry 20 of these around with us for now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wait, do we get two or one? I think we only get one. I don't remember. I think we only get one. Okay, nice. Very nice indeed. All right, you guys. I'm going to let you go here. And like I said, I'm going to go out and do some looting uh, to try and get this nail count up to 300-ish. And then hopefully if all goes well, in the next episode, we will start working on our base. Uh, let's turn all of this stuff into Presto Logs. Uh, it is the next day. Ah, it's still February. Okay, so we still have at least one more day of February left, which means we're probably going to get one more blow then, too. We'll see, though. We'll see what happens. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.